Hi everyone, it's Anthony over at Life Rooms. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of a leftovers dish today. We're going to be doing a rich and tasty bread and butter pudding with marmalade and all sorts of other stuff. So it's really tasty. Uh, so off the couch, come on, let's go and do some cooking. Right, let's get cracking. So what I've got is, so the idea about behind this recipe is, uh, the thing is, um, in a lot of those supermarkets and things, the bread, uh, like the fresh bread that they make, is uh, tends to go out of date quite quickly. So there always seems to be a lot left over. So if you go at the end of the day, it's ideal. Or if you've got a little bit of stale bread at home, um, so you're trying to look for the, the bread that's gone slightly hard, not necessarily the bread that's moldy. We don't even use any of that. But you're looking for things that are, 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 have gone a little bit dry and a little bit hard. So we've got this nice, lovely cob ready to go. Um, so it's gone a little bit dry at the side, and it's great for that. So what you need is a greased tin. And I'll just go through the ingredients really quickly. Some sultanas. Uh, we've got some uh, caster sugar, some butter. Now I've actually gone for salted butter because I feel like it has a little bit of depth of flavour. But you can use margarine if you're short for it. I've used marmalade, but you can you can use anything you want. So you could use Nutella if you, the kids don't like marmalade, or you could use jam. Uh, I've got a little cheeky little bit of amaretto in there um, as well, just to add a little bit of an almondy flavour. And then I've got some eggs. Okay, and then milk just over here. Okay. So we're all ready to go. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what we need to do. It's really, really simple, I promise. So what you want to do is get a serrated edge knife. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut the bread into nice, relatively thin slices. Not too thin, but not too thick either. Um, and we're just going to slice down. Now remember, when you're carving bread, especially cobs like this, now if the bread's already cut, that's great. Um, but if not, what you want to do is you want to use the knife the serrated edge of the knife to saw through the bread rather than necessarily leaning on it. And that's how you keep it nice and, and soft and not squished up together. So I'm just going to cut all the way through. Gets a little bit trickier when you get to the end because you've got to sort of balance. Okay, so great, we've got all the bread here. So what we're going to do now, dead simple, is we're going to get a little bit of butter. Now, if you, because it's bread and butter pudding, you need to put butter in there, but you can actually leave it out. But I think it adds a real richness to it. So all I'm going to do is spread it, spread it on there nice and relatively thinly, not too thick. I don't want it too soaked in butter. Try and go as much to the edges as you can. Uh, and this is where I'm going to divide the nation um, because we're going to put uh, the marmalade on top. Um, butter and marmalade. So what's your preference? Do you prefer just marmalade on its own or butter and marmalade on your toast? I, I like both. I like the saltiness and the sweetness at the same time, you see. So we'll just get that butter on there. It's a great dish, this. This is, this is comfort food at its best. It's so soothing and, 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 and rich. Uh, reminds me of my grandma. Grandma used to make a wicked bread and butter pudding. There we go. So, little bits, just smooth those out. Okay, so what we're going to put on now is we're going to put the uh, marmalade on. Okay, so bring that forward. And then again, just very, very sparingly, just throw it on there. Um, you might need to give it a little mix up the marmalade because it has a tendency to, because to, it's quite gelatinous, it, it sticks together. So just spread it out, okay. And then what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna lean them against each other just for now. Give yourself a little bit more room. So you don't have to be all fine and delicate with this. Uh, and you can get rindless. And, and again, the uh, with Nutella, Nutella works well. The kids like my, the, the one with Nutella in. And that's in there. So what we're gonna do with this, after we've done this, is we're gonna make a custard, okay? So a lot of people don't always see that it's a custard. They think it's just like an egg and milk mix, but it's an actual custard you're making. Except the way in which we're going to bake it is that we're just cooking it differently. So it is actually we're making a custard to go with it. 
And there we go. And last but not least, this tiny one here. We've got in there. So lovely, that's all ready to go. So what we're gonna do, dead simple, is we need to just arrange it on the tr in the tin. So all I'm gonna do is just put that, the little small one at the back, and then I'm just gonna lean it in there. And it's as if by magic, it fits perfectly inside this tin. And what you wanna do is you just wanna gradually layer it along. Push it all up so we get them all in. Last but not least, there we go. Okay, and then all I'm gonna do is just sprinkle some sultanas in each one as I layer it on. So I'm just gonna sprinkle them on in the middle of each one. Now you don't have to put sultanas in if you if you don't want. I just think that they give you nice little chewy bits every now and again. They really taste it. And then you go. Okay, so that's it. Spread it all back out. So I'll just move that over there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the custard now. Okay, so it's really important we make the custard. So I've got some nice uh, full fat milk. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my amaretto in there. I'm just gonna do it in the jug, keep it nice and simple, less washing up. Uh, then we want the caster sugar. So it's about 50 grams in there. And then I'm gonna add four eggs. There you go. So we're looking for me medium eggs. So we want some medium eggs. And if you leave them out a little bit, they work a little bit better for you. They're a little bit they're better at room temperature, the eggs. So I'm just gonna get a whisk, we've got that. And then uh, all I'm gonna do is literally, just in the jug, mix it all up, break those egg yolks up. Egg yolk's trying to run away. It's a little trick, like a ham whisk that you can use. Make sure you scrape right to the bottom because what you want to do is you want to make sure that that caster sugar at the bottom gets brought up. Because what happens is because it's heavier than the milk, it will try and sink to the bottom. So what you're looking for is that all mixed together, I love it, and that you can smell the almond of the uh, the amaretto. Now, obviously, if you don't like the amaretto, by all means, you know, don't don't use the amaretto, you don't need to, it's, it's optional. So I've got that ready to go, so all I'm gonna do is, I'll take the whisk out. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lovely pour that over the top. Don't worry about if the egg's not fully whisked in. It gives a nice bit of texture and a bit of colour in there as well. And what we're looking for is we want that bread to soak up all that lovely flavour. So what you want to do is you just want to get your fingers and literally just push, push the top of that bread down to allow it to absorb all that lovely custard. We want it to drink it all up. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna give that a couple of minutes before we pop it in the oven, because what that'll do is it'll absorb as much of that liquid as you can. And then once you're ready to go, then we're just gonna pop that in the oven. So I'll pop that in the oven and I'll show you the finished product ready to go. Now look at that. That is absolutely amazing. I'm really happy with that. So you can see it's, it's just lovely, so tasty. So you can serve this with, uh, with ice cream, with custard, whatever you like. Please have a little try at this. It's a great dish, really simple. Great use of leftovers. So I'm gonna leave it there. Enjoy. <laughs>